tested a blinder. Uh, M27, he's got two heads on the front. We unhooked the middle head. This is the Customs Pro Light. And uh, we're doing this for Adam, a friend of mine. This is the 210 software by Blinder. We're hitting this BMW here. He should be coming back here in just a minute. There's a cop, lovely. Wondering probably what the heck we're doing. Gwinnett County. <laughs> here he comes. Got him. All right, got him with the Pro Light. At uh, let's see, we got him at. Well, it's hard to see it, but. There it is. 38 miles an hour at 363 feet on the right headlight. Alright. Try this again. It's really tough to hold this thing. Basically it's a binocular. There he comes. Jammed a gun on that one. This is the uh, Customs Pro Light. It's a pretty cool little gun, actually. Anyway, that's uh, that'll let you know that the 210 software is with two heads. As he's got three, but we unhooked the middle head. here. Got one. As you can see there's one in the middle but we unhooked that head and he's got one over here. One and two. Uh, we just want to see what two heads would do with an M27 210 software revision. So, uh, didn't do too well. Uh, so, my recommendation if you're going to get a two head jammer definitely get the LI. Laser Interceptor uh, have a new uh, software and their their heads are a little stronger. They use a, a diode versus an LED that Blinder uses. Now diodes are more reliable but when it comes to raw power and jam to gun capabilities you just can't beat the Laser Interceptor. But this car had plenty of time to slow down and was able to get to the speed limit before I was able to tag him on the headlight. There you go Adam. That's the pro light.